Hi guys and welcome. This is Mark from Optimum Technology Transfer. Today we're going to be looking at the H lookup function in Excel. You may remember one of my previous videos we concentrated on, we had a look in a little bit of detail at the V or vertical lookup function. Today, as I say, it's the turn of the H or horizontal lookup function in Excel. We've got a sim similar kind of scenario to, uh, to the one we had with our VLOOKUP video. Um, what we've got is a, a grade table here. And it's good old student one once again. Now student one in a particular exam has got apparently 69. Now what I would like to do is to determine what grade uh, that student as a result of that mark of 69 has achieved. And I'm going to be using an H lookup this time rather than a V lookup, simply because my grade table is kind of going across horizontally rather than going down vertically. So here's my formula cell, cell D5 equals HL. There's only one of them. I can just press my tab key to pick up that particular one because it's highlighted, of course. Now, the lookup value is going to be the mark achieved by that particular student, which happens to be in cell D4 comma separator typically between all of the arguments of course now my table array is going to be my series of marks and my series of grades in this case d8 colon g9 that's my table array comma separate which particular row are you interested in getting the information from well it's the second row in the table i'm not going to use that fourth and final optional range lookup argument, just simply going to press my return key or press my enter key on the keyboard. And apparently student one has uh, achieved a grade of merit. If I change the mark, let's say, for example, the student achieved a mark of 87. Well, now uh, it's a distinction. Let me just F2 on that and let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. So it's an H, a horizontal lookup equals H lookup, open brackets, D4 is my lookup value, comma, D8 colon G9 is my table array, comma, and the row that I'm interested in getting the information from is two, the second row. Now, for our second example here, what do we got? Well, we've got a sequence of years and tutors. And what I would like to do is to determine who tutors the year nine students. Okay, so there's my formula cell, cell D15 for this example. I'm again going to equals HL, equals horizontal lookup. Press my tab key to pick that one up. The lookup value is going to be the year, in this particular case in cell D14, comma separator. I then select my table array for this example my sequence of years and tutors, comma separator. Now I'm interested in finding out the tutor and my series of tutors are in the second row. So there we go. Uh, two is my row index number. Comma separator once again, because for this particular example, as you may remember from the VLOOKUP and the second example we had a look at in the VLOOKUP video, I'm going to use a false or an exact match and then return or enter. And apparently the year nine students are tutored by Ms. Green. If I change, I'd like to know, let's say, for example, who tutors the year 11 students. I'll pop in year 11 in that case there, press my return key, and apparently the year 11 students are tutored by Mr. Davis. Let me F2 on that once again. So there's our second example for this particular video of an H or a horizontal lookup in Excel. Equals H lookup, open brackets, D14 is the lookup value, comma, D17 uh, colon I18 is the table array. Two is the second row. I'm interested in getting the information from the second row. It's my sequence, my series of tutors. And this is a comma false, so it's an exact match. So what I would like is the year in cell D14 to match exactly one of the values in the year stroke tutor table. That's it for this video and a little bit of a look at HLOOKUPS in Excel. 